Hi, my name is Glenn Hasselman. I'm just making this video for the free accounting software users to show you guys how to process an employment termination payment in uh, free accounting software and report it through single touch payroll. Um, so I've made a previous video where I showed how to um, report a lump sum A for a, um, unused annual leave on a genuine redundancy. Um, in this case, I'm going to um, uh, do something slightly more complicated which is the employment termination payment. So again the tax codes control how this is reported under single touch payroll so we'll have to go there uh, create a new tax code. So this is going to be the um, tax free component um, dash gen redundancy okay so um, active is true and liability um, I think this is reported under salaries and wages on the on the BAS as being subject to Pazigo withholding uh, even though or, or the Pazigo withheld amount is zero but it could be wrong on that so um, anyway that's not really what I'm trying to demo here I'm just trying to focus on this um, now this is quite confusing because this gets reported on the um, individual non-business payment summary uh, whereas the taxable component goes on to the employment termination payment um, payment summary uh, in fact I probably shouldn't say payment summary it's really now called an income statement now that we've got single touch payroll in any case, um, it's the two different tax-free component is sort of split. So um, these ETPs are really confusing, and I might even be telling you guys the wrong thing. But the what I'm trying to demo is really just how to use the software so that you can understand it and then um, use it. Um, so uh, this is the gross part of the payment and um, uh, what I've looked up online says that it gets reported under lump sum D okay so select that um, the tax that's withheld against this is actually well it's actually zero um, but if there was going to be tax withheld it would be on a different tax code so this this one is not applicable okay so save that now um, uh, we need another tax code um, you can go back to the tax list and then click new, new tax code or you could actually just click new tax code directly from here and um, this is the taxable component genuine redundancy okay so um, active true liability salaries and wages now, instead of picking individual non-business here, we actually pick employment termination payment. And the gross part of this is going to be taxable. So scrolling down here, there's a whole bunch of ETP things, right? So um, uh, there's ETP tax-free component um, and the type um, is the code uh, that there's a type there's a box or that's called type or code and um, type code is R but we want the taxable component so um, going down to taxable component type R and the tax that's on this tax code which will be zero anyway because this is for the gross um, is going to be not applicable. Okay, and we need a third uh, tax code, which is for the tax that's that is withheld um, against that uh, ETP. So pay as you go withholding, or sometimes P A Y G W um, ETP um, type R. 
Okay, active is true. Liability. Now, this goes on the bus as pay as you go withholding payable. So we withhold it and we pay it on the bus. Um, goes onto the ETP. Um, and um, Okay, for the gross, right, this is the tax withheld, so gross is going to be not applicable, and the tax is going to go on PAYG ETP, and there's heaps to choose from, and the one that we want is type R, um, just looking at the ATO website and they're calling it code R. So. save that. Now going back to the menu and we need a couple accounts to um, the, for the gross um, components to bring them in. So just going to select new account and this name is what gets um, put um, on the payment, oh, sorry on the payslip so the employee would see this name so it's probably good to type something that they would understand. I'm just actually going to type um, Genuine um, and see tax free component. Um, and we link the um, tax code over here. Uh, payment deduction type is earnings. Uh, it, it, it's probably not paid on a per hourly basis, so um, uh, well, maybe maybe it is if it's a certain number of weeks. But um, in any case, I'm just going to type the amount in. So save that. Okay, and now we need another new account for the um, taxable component. Okay. Now, can we link the, the tax code, the other tax code this time? And save. Okay, now we're just ready to process the payslip. So, going to the batches, I've set up two batches and I'll do a new batch for this one. Save, go to transactions, new payslip, select the employee. Okay, so let's put in the, um, um, in fact, let's just pay them some normal time as well. So say they work part of the month here, um, 30 hours, let's say. Um, it's not triggering any pay as you go because it's taxed over a whole month. Let's just make it more. Okay. Um, then add a line. Now um, I'll add the um, tax free component. Um, just put an amount of $2,000 in there. You'll notice that the um, as you go withheld is now um, um, strange change to some strange amount so it's basically just force you to um, override it um, and you have to manually calculate these the tax withheld on these ETPs it's just too much um, now in this case and, and the next um, one is the genuine redundancy taxable component Okay, and I'll just put like 5,000 on that, or 5,000. Okay, now the thing to notice here is that the system has automatically added this second um, tax 
line because we have because it knows that um, that the uh, that particular gross uh, has its own separate type of tax that it's that's withheld um, uh, anyway the, the system is not calculating the amount correctly because it doesn't know how to do that so you've got to override the tax calculation and um, put minus whatever you think is the right amount we'll work that out properly I should say um, so let's say it's 500 for pays you go and um, um, thousand dollars for the ETP taxable component all right now um, having done that um, you want to have a look at this pay event info and check that it's putting the right amounts in the right places um, so the first part of this oh, this is night point thing okay the first part of that is the um, um, employee details um, and uh, there's a box here that says final pay for financial year maybe it is so you're going to put yes um, it's got the gross amount for the normal pays um, it's got the ETP payment um, type code is R so if you remember there's a lot of different selections and um, we select the type R so that's why that's there um, payment date is the date from this payslip uh, tax free component is zero um, it's I guess it's pretty confusing because the tax free component that I looked up it said it should go on lump sum D so you know I put it down here on lump sum D so this is this is where we've um, got the um, two thousand dollars and that's because I you know set the system up to do it that way if you want it to be there which I don't know um, you, you just set set it to the other uh, set up your tax code differently um, and there's the tax withheld amount of 1000 that we put there um, so it's all coming through to where we intended it to go um, the this section here okay this well sorry the six hundred dollars here um, is something I processed on the previous um, pay and that's in the previous video so I paid the employee six hundred dollars lump sum A um, so this lucky employee is actually getting terminated twice um, but um, because this is a year-to-date total um, that's in the financial year so it's getting reported here as well uh, and the type code R is what I selected on the previous thing. Um, what we processed on this payroll was this two thousand dollars here. Um, yeah, and then there's the superannuation that's sort of separate. Um, okay, once you're happy with that, just click save and then lodge it to the ATO in the usual way. Okay. Um, So that's that's an example of um, an ETP um, payment through single touch payroll. Um, not confusing at all, and um, um, I hope it's been useful to you. And thanks for watching.